Greetings, patrons. That's you. Yes, you. You're the patrons. All of you. You're all like a fine tequila. <laughs> I'm always saying this. Yeah, you're the patrons, and we're about to get fucked up. We're going uh... to get fucked up with the patrons today. <laughs> Each one of you represents one shot we will take. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> um, so you might notice that it's just me and Karina right now. Eagle-eyed viewers might notice. Um, yeah. Julia is coming, but she's late. And Nathan is still on his, his wedding holiday vacation. So it's get it, Nathan. We we get got it. You marriage. got married. It was a lovely ceremony. We had a great time. We get it. <laughs> uh, wow, but thanks. For now, we're gonna have an, an intimate, private Patreon stream okay. with y'all and me yeah. and Karina. Yeah. Tell you That's everything great. about the wedding. Yeah. I will. I'll de I'll detail it. Single detail every name every I address will, i'm sorry i need to be like irritating for exactly one second because i don't i haven't heard from any mods so i guess i can do the announcement i know how to do that oh, are you gonna announce in the discord yeah i probably should shouldn't i i don't know if the mods remembered that we were doing this and i don't think we reminded them either yeah, that's fair. We've we've been off. We've been we, off. Yeah. <laughs> we've been off. Don't blame us for anything. I'm sorry. We did. We we can just copy paste an announcement. I'm normal. Yeah, you can do it. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use this time to say to the the patrons, thank you so much for being patrons. We we thank appreciate you. your support, especially when we have a scare like we had. A couple yeah, days oh ago goodness. when we Droppy, I, I went on to Droppy to make sure an episode was ready for next week. And I was like, hey, where's the um, where's the monetization tab? And I was like, it's not there. That's weird. And then I, I went back out to the main menu and I was like, hey, where's the whole monetization section? Uh, I was like, oh, that's uh. weird. <laughs> that's really weird. And then when I went to go find it, it was like apply to be a partner. We were like, oh, <laughs> but no. But I already did that. Oh, God. Uh, thankfully, it was it was quickly resolved um, due to the power of complaining, complaining on Twitter. Because <laughs> YouTube support certainly didn't help when we went to them first. And they were like, saw we, we can't Thanks. do anything. And we're like, we'll see if you can do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Bet. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you can do something. We're, we're going to find out here in a minute. Um, but thankfully it's all resolved now. But if, you know, stuff like that happens, we at least know that, that we have all of y'all support. So yeah. we're not going to like be destitute, uh, if we don't, if we don't have monetization. That's an announcement. Yeah, I like not uh, being destitute. I was, I was saying it's it's a little cringe to have to um, take it to Twitter, but it worked. <laughs> if, it, if it didn't work, people wouldn't do it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna start drawing, I guess, while we're while we're talking. Absolutely should. I'd love to do that, frankly. Oh yeah. Okay, I. I'm going to remember how to draw in real time. And you're all going to see it. <laughs> no, I can't wait. Because I have when not. When's the last time you drew? <laughs> the last time I drew was it at Nathan's and Emily's private wedding Drawfee live show that we did. Oh, yeah. And that didn't even really count because I was drawing without looking. <laughs> it counts it counts actually i did do one day of of practice i practiced one time over this break oh so I, it wasn't completely without um but we're gonna remember together how to do it i want to get like a like a barrel-esque drawfee mug to start us out 
I have like a new thing that my camera is on and I'm still kind of figuring out how I like it to be. So uh, if I go at like the Dutch angle, <laughs> <for streaming. laughs> I can just do that now. What if I just do? <laughs> can we get like the, the psycho? Um... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. How's that? How's that? <laughs> I like that. We're figuring it out. <laughs> I was going to say like the anime breakdown fisheye is what I think we should do for I... <laughs> you can yeah. kind of do it. We'll need to get a, we'll we'll need to get a fisheye to do it properly, but I don't yeah. think that's hard. No, I think uh, it's fine. That's why we work hard, so we have funds to do stupid shit for your amusement. <laughs> that's the whole point of everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be irritating one more time. Oh, nice. Before, before we just like do this. Okay. Bye. It's July at the time of doing this stream live, not once it goes up on YouTube. Anniversary merch is available just a little bit longer. Oh yeah. Um yeah. Karina made incredible anniversary merch that we've you know, Thank we've you. we've got the CTAs that you've not been seeing because we've not been <laughs> posting episodes. We haven't been posting videos. <laughs> But um, you're gonna see them again real soon. Don't yeah, you're worry. gonna you're gonna see them next week uh, again, and you'll be reminded when you hear Jacob Horse's beautiful voice. <laughs> uh, you'll be reminded of what you need to do, which is buy the anniversary merch. Yeah. It's just a happy mug with a big neck. Yeah, Even people with in that. big necks deserve to be happy. It's just... Okay, okay thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks on behalf of big naked folks. Um, <laughs> big yeah, naked there's folks? Like, <laughs> there's like about a week left in the month. That's crazy. I don't... <sighs> I don't agree with that personally, but they didn't ask me. Yeah, they didn't... They didn't let us choose that. It's a little unfair, honestly. Um, I'm ready to start receiving drawing suggestions at this juncture. A chat. If you would like to deliver them unto me. Big naked folks. Yeah, can you draw that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. TOS, TOS. <laughs> DOS, no, boo. <laughs> I have uh, people like Ringus Tingus who very kindly try to hand me the ability to draw fan art from Cradle, which is one of my favorite book series. But I always Ooh. don't do it because it would be so self-indulgent that I'm like, I know no one else... The percentage of people that wouldn't know what it was would be way higher than the percentage um, of people that would know. I think you're allowed to do that. Literally everything I draw is so self-indulgent, and I'll just do it on stream if I'm given the chance. Like, what's stopping you? Yeah, yourself? but it's it's different when you do it. No. <laughs> it doesn't feel right coming from me. <laughs> Who in chat would love to see that? Um, I'm not going to do it this time, but maybe I'll do it another time. You're allowed. Well, well also, when that's I do it, I want to be better at art than I am today. Okay, that's a valid excuse, I suppose. So I want something easy. <laughs> Ernest <laughs> Hemingway. <laughs> just, just draw Ernest. I'll draw Ernest <laughs> Hemingway. That sounds fun. <laughs> Let me pull up some Ernest Hemingway reference. <laughs> All right, which which Hemingway? You got to go with the big beard. There's him like <laughs> mostly naked with a shotgun. Oh, do that one. <laughs> what was this man getting up to? Oh, Writing shit. books. <laughs> being shit. being sad and angry, I think he did. <laughs> it's always something with that guy. All right, we're going to do a Hemingway, a shapey Hemingway. 
Because everybody knows. I will not self indulge. I will draw Ernest I will draw in a stimming way. Something I don't want to draw. That's all I'll draw. No, I actually, I did want to draw because he's got like a fun shape to his like whole head. And yeah. I feel like I can do a good job on it today. Um. Should I should I humor chat with the story I was telling you before we started, Jacob? Yes, I'm sure they would love to hear it. So um, my cousin was in town this week and I like never get to see him. We grew up together, but I like because uh, he just like is out of the country now. So I just like don't really get to see him until he randomly turns up in New York for work. And um, it's always just really nice, like literally grew up together. He's like two weeks older than me. And um, but since we don't like see each other that much anymore, he's not super tuned in to like what my whole deal is, what my shenanigans are. <laughs> What's um, your deal? Yeah, but that, you know, he, he knows I'm cringe. He just doesn't know in what w specific way I'm being cringe at any given point in time anymore. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, but so it was real nice. We ended up last minute seeing Hades Town, which I was very excited about. I've seen it before, but um, there were like different cast members because some of the original cast, like I guess, um, you know, uh, now it's played by different people. So it was like really fun to see with like different main cast members. And it's just so fun. I love that show. It's really beautiful and the music's so good had a wonderful time seeing hades town so we go see it we come out we're kind of doing a little stand outside the theater um as you know because it was my cousin and some of his friends and um uh you know they're deciding where they want to eat and someone does a drive-by like hi big fan <laughs> and right in front of my <laughs> cousin <laughs> and i just go Thank you. <laughs> you were caught were, in four K. Yeah, they were very sweet, but it was it's it's the horrors of being known in front of your family. <laughs> but they were really nice. <laughs> so I can't complain. <laughs> and I'm always saying like the, the other people come away being like, Whoa, Karina's so cool. She gets recognized in public like a celebrity. <laughs> the other thing is that I guess earlier this week, because they my cousin have been here a few days, um, they saw Moulin Rouge, like another Broadway show, uh, at some point, and Danny DeVito was at that one. So of course, when they came out of the theater, a bunch of people were just like, you know, going over to Danny DeVito, and so my cousin was like, "You're like the Danny DeVito of this show." <laughs> <laughs> I've always been saying that about you. Thank you. <laughs> You're definitely the Danny DeVito of Drawfee. <laughs> That's great, though. It's, I'm glad it yeah, happened. It was, it was super nice, but there's just something about because like people are always so sweet if if they like recognize me IRL. But it's just something about it happening in front of my friends and, or just, you know, people I know, God forbid, family, or it's like really embarrassing <laughs> to me <laughs> because I'm embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, hell yeah, when it happens to me. Like, it's a great feeling, but it's also just like, no, no, my cousin knows I'm online. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like it because if you're hanging out with people who like aren't, they're not really like into YouTube, they don't really know like online content. And like when you say like you do a YouTube channel for a living, it's kind of like something that people hear and they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like what? what's your actual job then that you that you do so that you can like afford to do YouTube. And so then I, I always want to be like, no, but like for real, but like, but like really. And so then if I get recognized, <laughs> it's like, you see, it's real. 
Yeah. I'm a real like people, person. People are so nice about it, and it's so validating, but I'm just also like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> it's the deep compartmentalization, but no, it was it was fun. <laughs> a fun little jump scare <laughs> just in case you forgot for a second that you were yeah you were a youtuber never forget it's who like, you I are guess, i guess it does track for it to happen at hades town <laughs> oh that's a wide earnest What do you think about this Ernest? Oh my goodness, so strong. Do you like how wide he is? <laughs> I do. Wow. Sorry, sorry if you hear phone noises. Um, my phone is, the sound is on. I don't want to turn it off because my case is currently off of my phone and it will just make so much noise either way. Why is your case off your phone? Because I spilled coffee in it. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's drying off. <laughs> All right. Good for um, you. Oh, yeah, that was my other thing I did yesterday. I made cold brew for the first time. Oh, you were saying you were going to. Yeah, I finally did it. And I did it in the most, like, nonsensical order of steps possible. So I made a huge fucking mess. But it's, it came out good. <laughs> As long as it came Time. out good. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't know the correct order of when to put in the grounds. How should I filter this? Oh no, I only have so many large containers. Oh god, there's still grounds in this. Oh my god. <laughs> did you not this like so look difficult. why didn't you look it up? I did and then did, paid zero attention <laughs> to the instructions given to me and said, eh. I'll just do whatever. <laughs> I'll do it better next time, though. But I did. I'm also just, you know, like, <laughs> silly. <laughs> yeah, totally. So um, so I did just keep, like, spilling things because I'm so clumsy. <laughs> you fool. Yeah. Maybe if you had read more, as per Ernest Hemingway's request. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ernest. <laughs> it's time to read now. After this stream, everyone better go and read immediately for whom the bell tolls. No. Sorry. What if I read a fanfic titled for whom the bell tolls? I'll accept it. I'll accept it. Yes. Okay. That's more doable. Uh, okay. Um, this is it. My first drawing, done, easy. <laughs> okay. You can draw now. I can draw now. What should I draw? Thank you, Zoom. I know I'm screen sharing. You didn't have to tell me. What are my pens? What is any? Oh, great. <laughs> Do you remember how to draw? Yeah, I've been doing it, just not. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Lloyd and yours, Barbie and Ken. That's so cute. That is really cute. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, we can do like a real ass drawing today. It's kind of. Uh... I believe. I believe in you. Trying to think if there were any more uh, yeah, wedding, we wedding stories. About, I mean, we didn't tell any wedding stories. <laughs> oh, I, I told one um, wedding story on Secret Sleepover the other night. Oh, but I forgot one? it wasn't on Droppy. I was just telling about the um, the guy who ran into me and Julia, and then his girlfriend was a huge fan, and then because of that, oh, they yeah. both ended up being able to go to the wedding. <laughs> And what a funny situation that was. I guess I can like quickly elaborate on <laughs> yeah. that for those who didn't regale, hear it. Yeah, regale to chat all of the wedding stories as I 
get this cooking. Uh, for those of you who didn't hear this story, um, me and Julia were in downtown Burlington, Vermont, and a guy came up to us and was like, hey, are y'all Drawfee? And we were like, yeah. And he's like, oh my God, I recognize you from my girlfriend's screen. Cause she's always watching like, <laughs> like streams, like secret sleepover and, and droppy streams. And we're like, Oh, that's so cool. And, and he was there with his family and his family were actually Emily's. There was a connection to Emily's family, Nathan's wife. And so his family was going to the wedding. Um, but he wasn't, he was just in town coincidentally. Um, so we like took a picture with all of them and then Emily saw the picture and was like, Oh, well, we actually have some like open spots. If you and your girlfriend want to come to the wedding, like you can come. And so his girlfriend was like, holy shit. And then she drove <laughs> three hours from wherever she was. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to Vermont. And I think the, the funniest part was like before the wedding, we were doing a like a comedy show for the like wedding party because Nathan's got a lot of friends in comedy. So it was like a bunch of his friends doing like stand up sets and like musical things and and like little present funny presentations. And then it culminated in um, us Drawfee doing a, a 30 minute uh, live Drawfee performance for like the wedding guests um, so that people could understand what it was that Nathan did for a job. <laughs> you um do. but so essentially it was um this this guy and, and girl ended up being able to just like attend a private drawfy live show and then like hang out with all the the drawfy crew and associated crew like like willie and <laughs> and caldwell and uh carolyn and and all those folks who were there. And I, the whole time I just kept thinking like, this must be such a bizarre experience for them. <laughs> Cause it like happened out of nowhere. And then all of a sudden they were just like, oh, okay, I guess I'm at a private show of these like YouTubers I like. And now, now I'm hanging out with all of them. If it was me, I would be like, am I, am I like in a dream state? Like what is happening? If it was like people I was a fan of, I'd be like, how did I end up here? What is this? Peter's Werbel said, as people in the VOD comments said, that's so self-insert fanfic. <laughs> yeah, I think that's exactly it. It does feel like something like that. Um, did I get the GF's Twitch username? I did not. She said she's mostly a VOD watcher. The, uh, the silent majority, as I call them. <laughs> as I call them. <laughs> yeah. Um... Anyway, so that was a funny story and just like a funny situation. And then um, me and Karina proceeded to tell her and her boyfriend about the uh, the TikTok NPC trend <laughs> <laughs> and act out the, the various uh, things they do, like ice cream yum. <laughs> mm, ice cream, so good. <laughs> so maybe they, maybe they wish they hadn't come yeah that ruined it didn't <laughs> everything just grinds to a halt <laughs> when you say yes gang 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 say. gang <laughs> <laughs> the what trend um, it should also be said huh we'll have to explain what the trend is for people that don't know and thus yeah the cycle it should also continues be said that we um Kept going to Ben and Jerry's because, of course, we did. And every time, it'd be, mm, ice cream, yum. Ice cream, yum. <laughs> ice cream, yum. Ice cream, so good. So the trend is, like, these people on TikTok, um, you know, like, on TikTok Live, you can, like, pay to, like, send, like, little emoji-looking looking shits. Um, and they have, mm -hmm. like, set reactions for each one that they get. And so the whole time they're basically just like doing these reactions over and over and over again as people pay to like give them the the little icons. And so when you watch it out of context, it looks it's like frightening. It's like so strange. Um and it's it's strange in context too. But we we were um we wouldn't stop doing it on That's this trip. True. 
once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, it really gets you in the brain stem. What else happened? A lot of cursed travel. A lot of cursed travel, yeah. Um, Mark, our friend of the show, Mark, who you might remember from Office live streams, um, he got stuck in Newark Airport for like 12 hours or hours. something. Yeah, like overnight. Freaking horrendous. And then Caldwell got stuck somewhere. He got he got stuck both ways. Coming I wasn't in, sure coming and going. Stuck <laughs> oh, damn. And then me and Julia got stuck because our flight got canceled after we got recognized by the TSA agent. <laughs> so it went from a very nice experience to a very um, unnice experience very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, um, David and I kind of lined our itineraries up and we were going to take the train up there. And the day before it got, uh, the day before we left going up, um, it got canceled. So we just like rescheduled uh, to flights and I was so excited to ride the train. I didn't even get to. I hate it here. <laughs> no, no trains for you. Yeah, someday I'll ride a train again. I don't believe you. I'm going to do a long draw on this one. Yeah, go for it. If, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. I think it'll be cute. It's already it'll really be cute. cute. If I do an underdrawing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but the nice thing was, is that we were leaving after y'all. So you got to sleep over with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the, the silver lining was that when our flight was canceled, at least... Uh, David and Karina were still around, so <laughs> we just got to spend the day hanging out with them, and yeah, then we slept on their Airbnb couch, pull-out couch. <laughs> um, I guess this was also a funny thing, was um, we went to Citizen Cider while we were there, which is like a <laughs> cider place, and... <laughs> We had this ongoing thing that David's baby really loves looking at trees. And so in order to entertain David's baby, I was trying to act like a tree and like wave around. And then David took a video of me doing it <laughs> and then posted it to Instagram with the caption, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Which I found to be incredibly funny. Um, and then it ended up on, on Twitter and everything. But... <laughs> Uh, uh, and I the, posted the, it on Drafi's TikTok yeah, yeah. because we never do. And then somebody responded to the video and being like, oh my God, that's me in the background. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't notice we were there because they didn't talk to us. I, okay, because like that was on TikTok and they followed after they replied. So I don't even know if they like knew who we were, but they just ended up in our TikTok. I haven't checked the TikTok in a few days, so I don't know if they ever replied. <laughs> it's so funny though. Imagine going through TikTok and suddenly you see yourself in the background of a TikTok. One fear. <laughs> yeah. Their baby doesn't even like trees. They just told you to act like a tree to film you brutal but their baby does like trees uh, I, I witnessed yeah baby confirmed to love trees baby baby was so fucking cute and smiley loved it that was the other thing with the npc tiktoks is that being around a baby just like turns me into that so i couldn't stop I just start making weird faces and noises. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's you, you got to entertain the baby, you know, you do what you have yeah, to do. It's important. It's important. <clears throat> baby loved when I um, would meow. So I full on became like a cat girl NPC anytime it was like Karina's turn to keep an eye on baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was honestly disgusting. <laughs> but if baby smiles, then yeah, but it was baby worth smiled it. Smiled when I meowed. Yeah. 
You do and it to make smiled. baby smile. Yeah, and baby smiled when you did your tree. Yeah, baby did smile. That's the that's the the most effed up part of all. <laughs> is that the baby even liked it? I entertained the baby successfully, and what did I get in return? Public publicly shamed. I do have the alternate POV of that video where you can see baby smiling, and it's very cute though. Oh, at least there's, you know, evidence somewhere. Yeah, there is evidence. <laughs> but the world won't see it. No. But I'll I'll know it in my heart. Yeah. But yeah, it was such a fun trip. Okay, Olive. Olive. She's just been jumping in and out of my lap repeatedly. Aw. They, they've been like little nightmares today. Because they missed you. Julia's been gone today. She's out seeing uh, some family. And I was like working out. And the entire time I was working out, Joy was just screaming as loud as she could over and over and over and over again. And then every time I would like sit down to like aww. do a lift or something, she would jump in my lap and be like aww. purring so loud. It was very aww. cute, but it's like I can't. <laughs> I can't right now. <laughs> the time is wrong. Gonna, we're going to ink this a little because I want to. Please don't dig at my shirt. Just do this. Here we go. All right, I have Julia update. She's off the train. <clears throat> She's walking home. Oh. Nobody panic. Everyone be cool. Everyone be cool. None of you start screaming like Joy was. Yeah, I swear to God. C knocked on said Jacob works out. Name five weights. Okay, here you go. Dumbbell. Barbell. Kettlebell. <laughs> They're all bells. <laughs> How do you feel about the, the, the plates? The plates weights. Plates. <laughs> what do you know about that? And that's not all. There's also um, the ones you wrap around your, your, uh, your wrists and, and ankles. What about those? Damn. He sure showed you. And I, I could name more, but I won't. This is a fun brush you're using. Yeah. Which one is this? One of my friends posted it, and I was like, I like that. It has that nice kind of dry quality on the tilt. Yeah. It yeah. says Yoka Pen. Oh, all right. You can read. <laughs> I can read if there's no kanji, yeah, which is... means I am, I am like a child. Yeah, this one and... This one are the my go tos right now. They're kind of they got that roughness. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, I like the roughness. Why can I not? Your... Don't forget the jaw weight. Is that that one that you that I see ads for where you like put <laughs> it in your mouth and like chew it and it makes your jaw look like the Mega Chad meme? Yeah. Cause that shit is crazy. I have no desire to do that. My jaw gets enough exercise from talking all the damn time. You know what I'm saying? Got this guy can't shut up over here. <laughs> jaw weight is an acquired taste. <laughs> I do not want to <laughs> acquire this taste. <laughs> I'm good. I'm full. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm full. I don't need to taste anything else. Oh, yeah. Shake weights. I forgot about shake weights. Oh, shit. You remember those? Yeah. That's a blast from the past. Yeah. I wonder if they ever, if they like did anything other than probably hurt your, like give you like a carpal tunnel. 
Yeah, like, would those do, would those be good weights? I don't know. I, I can't about. imagine why they would be. <laughs> you kindly ask that I pronounce your name correctly. Is it not C. Nocton? I see a C and I see Nocton. Is it Nocton? Is it Nocton? Might be Nocton. How would I spell Karina's pen name? Yeah, it's like Yoka, like Y O K A pen. I don't know if typing it in English will make it appear though in the in the asset yeah. store. Asset store is a mystery. I don't know how things are. I just download them blindly. I've just remembered that uh, we got we got new Jujutsu Kaisen to watch. Yeah, I'm excited because we get to see um, young, new young Gojo. Rock. Young Gojo. Yeah, <laughs> it's the Young Gojo arc. And Young Nanami. And Young Nanami, and Young Sheldon is there yeah, too. Yeah, he's there too. And Young Thug, also there. <laughs> I forgot about more record of Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't even realize it until I saw it on the thing, and I was like, oh, God. Actually, no, we're not drawing this hand. We don't want to do hand today. Got the other hand in one. This one is getting in not one. So we're Where, not where's it going to go? Down. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it. It's behind her body. Yeah. Imagine a perfect hand that's back there. Speaking of JJK, friend of the show Kaylee is in the new Fiona and Cake series. Yeah, I saw. That's rad. I didn't know that. That series looks cool. I'm, I'll yeah, probably check that out. I'm excited. Um... Yeah. I'm excited whenever yeah. our, our VA friends are in big roles. Yeah. I wish them all infinite work in the oh best projects. We should discuss this later, but do you want to see the Slam Dunk movie? Yeah. Okay. My, uh, we're trying to gang gang, so I'll let you know after off stream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the proposed time so far. I've read a decent portion of that manga, thus making me more I prepared don't... than most people. Yeah, I don't know that much about it, but one, it looks cool, and two, Yona is in it. Oh, really? Yeah, he's one of the one of I don't know which one. <laughs> I got to know which one he is. I'm going to look it up. Wow. Not a real fan. Not a real fan. I feel like if they're tweeting about this stuff, then Twitter's just like not showing me anything I would actually care to see. Yeah, Twitter is barely a functioning site. It just shows me like the so the hottest valid. trash so that it can serve up yeah, steaming. Yeah, so like you like this, right? And it's just ice cream, yum. <laughs> and everyone making fun of someone for doing the thing that just gets their bag. <laughs> oh, he's Mitsui. Is that cool? Yeah, Mitsui is like, a, he was like a basketball player, right? He was like really good, but then he like got injured or something. And then he fell in with a bad crowd yeah. and became like a real shithead. And then he comes back and, um, everyone kind of beats the shit out of each other and then ultimately <laughs> he rejoins the team oh that sounds fun yeah yeah that's jonah that's jonah that's so imagine jonah. jonah doing doing those things i can imagine it <laughs> <laughs> classic acl tear to villain arc <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so true <laughs> ACL is where all the goodness is stored. And so if it tears, <laughs> it leaks out. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I haven't watched uh, Nimona yet. Oh yeah, me neither. I read a good bit of it when it was like coming out back in the in the Tumblr days. I never read it, but I've heard the movie is really good. I haven't been up to date on anything. Like I said, I went on to Netflix to download true crime documentaries and limited series to maybe watch on the plane. Saw that there was new record of Ragnarok and blacked out until this moment. <laughs> 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 I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been watching anything really. The only the only new newish thing we've watched is we watched the first episode of Oshinoko. Oh yeah, Julia was telling me. And uh, it, we didn't realize when we started that the first episode is an hour and a half long. Yeah. But also, it was really good. I've heard, and I'm really interested, but it's on some, like, fucking no... <laughs> no... Yeah, it's on High Dive. Arena. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that? I hate it here. But, um... Because I've read some of the manga... And it's cool. And the opening song is such an absolute banger. I've been listening to it since it came out. Oh my god, that song is so good. Yeah. It's playing in my head right now. I had to pause talking so I could song. listen to it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pause talking so that I could listen to my elevator music and my, my, my idle background noise. Was it Yao Sobi? Is that the artist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they also did another popular opening. B Stars. B Stars. B yeah, that's the one. That's the one. It sure is. So I can only assume that they produce nothing but bangers. Yeah. I've listened to some of their stuff that weren't the anime openings, and I like it. Oh, it's Yoasobi, not Yaosobi. My bad. You sound so dumb right now. I sound dumb all the time. Haha, <laughs> touche. Okay. This is a drawing. Yeah, this rips. Thank you. Do I want to do this? No, I already started. <laughs> God damn it. I like uh, I like hubris. it when it's this. My hubris, yeah. <laughs> Have I given back Karina's B Stars books? Yeah, that was forever ago. Years ago, yeah. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> or else I'd kill you. I don't know what would have happened to me by now if I hadn't given back the B Stars books. <laughs> You'd be dead. Nothing would be happening because you wouldn't be here. <laughs> What else is going on? What is going on? I don't know. I've been in such a, a, a nothing. Yeah, I feel you. Have we watched any of the compilations we ordered y'all to make? <laughs> yeah, I watch all of them quietly, secretly. Yeah, if, if, if ever one comes up on my, my recommended, I watch it. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, yes, I would like if you boosted this YouTube. Thank you. And Engagement. They're, yeah, they're always so great. Yeah. Everyone they're is like great. Funny. Yeah. I don't like how this looks. It also does, you know, feel weird to be like watching it and then like laughing at stuff that we did. I'm like, yeah, I was yeah, there. But... <laughs> I was there. We did it. Why yeah. am I laughing at it again? I don't I don't remember. Yeah. I did Especially just see right uh huh? uh the the deep blue ink. I think it's a preview of like the next one. But yeah, it was a I bit that I had entirely forgotten about and I laughed at again watching it. <laughs> Julie is here. Yeah. Julia. Julia. 
Julia. Julia. There she is. I like how any of this looks. I'm there she is. Wait, stand over there so I can Whoa. do the I can do the face while I point at you. <laughs> Don't sneeze while I'm doing it. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. Perfect timing. Gonna plug in Julia's headphones and yeah. turn up her microphone. Turn up for what? For Julia. Whoa. 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 Two tickets to paradise. Pikmin 4. Do you need tickets to play Pikmin 4? Yeah. <laughs> there, I did it. This is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> what a fun drawing. <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad you took the extra time on this one. <laughs> it, it it deserved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have two pens called Pen for Gay People. They were given to me for a job. <laughs> <laughs> These are professional pens for gay people. Yeah. <laughs> professional okay, I'm gays. I'm going to hand it back. You ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm so ready. I was born ready. I was born here. Bring back uh, Ernest Hemingway. In case, <laughs> in case you stopped reading, it is now time to read again. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone get your books. Uh, I forgot to bring my reading. I drew Ernest Hemingway. Do you like him? The place is the stream goes. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> what am Chat I sitting on? requested it. Is my headphone case? You you put it there. <laughs> oh no, the consequences <gasps> of my actions. Hi, Karina. Uh, Hi, Julia. How you doing, Karina? I'm good. Sorry for being late. Thanks for holding down the fort. Oh, no, it's yeah. it's my pleasure. <laughs> We're, we've just been I'm chilling. I'm glad you made it though. Yeah. Thank you. We're talking about the trip. It was a nice trip, other than getting stuck. Yeah, but it worked out. I mean, it a thousand percent could have been worse. Karina yeah. and David very kindly gave us a home. It it truly worked out, and then we got to go drink cider and go to Bed and Jerry's again. Yep. Yep. Again. <laughs> and then, uh, as Jacob and I are quietly trying to wait away. Or, you know, leave the house in the morning. I right hear, Psht! Have a safe trip home. <laughs> and I look over at the window and I don't see Karina, but I certainly do hear Karina. <laughs> I felt bad that we woke you up, but it was very funny. I was already kind of awake. It's, uh, we had a lovely place that we stayed in, but. Uh, given that it was up north and also summer, the room that I was in didn't have AC, Amazing. so I just always had the windows open. Yeah, and so I was already gently awake uh, because the sun was up. But then I heard you leave, and I was like, "Time to be silly." <laughs> <laughs> and silly you were. I was so silly. You were so silly. It was a fun trip, though. I liked seeing everyone. It, it was, was so beautiful nice up to there. Spend time with everyone. I got six million bug bites. <laughs> it was great. I was really tempting um, fate because I was making fun of y'all for getting so many bug bites, but I did get like three. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's not three. bad. But one was on my palm. <laughs> uh, no, I have one on my thumb joint. <laughs> 
like yeah, on my knuckle and my thumb. That's infinitely worse. Mine's was just like right here, but it's already kind of better. Yeah, my thumb bug bite was itchy for about a day and it was insufferable and then it it stopped itching, yeah. so it was fine. Need that tiger bomb or maybe some scotch tape. <laughs> scotch tape? Does that work for bug bites? Um, kind of. Okay. It, it's it, it's my like one of my last ditch things if I just have nothing else that's hitting the spot mm. is that if you put tape over the bug bite, the like lack of, you know, I guess air kind of stops the it like helps the itching to stop if oh. nothing else is working. Suffocate um, it. Kind of. Because like I never had this problem in Houston because that's a swamp. Yeah. But when I moved up north 50% of the time I get a mosquito bite, I have a full-blown allergic reaction to no. it. It's very strange. Um, so there was one time when we worked at College Humor that I got some, like, on the bottom of my feet. And it was so painful to walk. Oh, I hate and, that. Um, I had them all over my legs and, like, all like on my feet. And all I could really do to, like, really subdue the, like, pain of it all was to just cover myself in masking tape oh no <laughs> so i was just like wearing jeans like i was wearing skinny jeans to just hold it all in but i was just my legs were just covered in masking tape i imagine to kind of just like relief the itch because it was just so bad i imagine you went into a room and then like whoever was in the house with you heard just like a lot of tape noises and you came out like a mummy like you had just wrapped yeah. yourself around <laughs> everywhere <laughs> honestly if it gets the job done yeah you know, that's that's what has helped with like the really irritating ones for me <laughs> jacob this is a lovely drawing thank you i'm drawing yeah. edgar Allan poe this time yeah i i, I could tell. guess yeah yeah this is really nice i like the nose yeah the thank nose is you. lovely thanks everybody it's giving me a kate beaton feel I want him yeah. to look. I want him to look worried. It's, there he is. He's reading the paper. He's squinting. <laughs> <laughs> um, today I went to. So the reason I'm late is that I was at the Museum of Natural History Ooh. with my family. My uncle's in town yeah. with all his kids. He wanted to show them New York, um, yeah. but the kids are the exact age to not enjoy a museum. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know, when you're like in the beginning of your teenage yeah. years. Yeah, no, that's that's completely fair. Yeah. And you're just like, this is so much walking and I'm looking at like a dissection of a tree. And I'm like, I get it. But also you're going to hit that point where you're going to think about it and you're like, that's kind of cool. And then you go back and you're like, oh, my God, I love the dissection of the tree because I'm, <laughs> I'm in that stage now of this. Yeah. If you think about it, they're because they're like teens, they're in school. Yeah. And so they have to be doing like mandatory uh, educational learning. shit like all the time. That's true. And so it's they're probably just like, I don't want to do anything that resembles education. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I still kind of struggle at museums because I have poor reading skills. So it's like kind of really distracting to me to be in a room. And I'm like, I have to read a plaque on the wall. Fuck. God damn it. Just ah, don't geez. read. Just make up your yeah, own just story like... about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I haven't been to the Natural History Museum in forever, but I, I would like to go there and just uh, draw. That's fun. It's yeah. Draw some birds. That is awesome. <laughs> we went to my mom's in the Museum of Natural History, like twice a year because she's a teacher yeah so she was our tour guide but i i met them in the museum because i was running a little late and mm -hmm. i can't i went into and i went my usual route but they added a new wing i think recently that makes you look oh. like you're in an ant hill whoa so i i <laughs> ant. i turned around and i was just like 
I literally have never been here before in my life. What is this? Where am I? I'm scared. And I'm just like texting my mom. And I'm like, I don't know where I am. I'm scared. I think I'm an ant. I'm surrounded by bugs. And they have like this big honeycomb that you can like go into and play with and like look look through. It was really cool. Except my mom was like, we're buying the dinosaurs. And I was like, I'm buying the bugs. <laughs> I'm a bug now. I'm a bug. I feel I like you need to be a bug. I don't want to go. It's just bugs. The other problem with the museum is that it's so big that my mom was like, we're at the elevator by the dinos. And I was like, okay. And I went to the elevator. I literally came up in an elevator and they weren't there, and it was surrounded by dinos. There's, there's so many rooms of dinos, right? Yeah, and then she was like, no, we're by the other elevator. So I went to the other elevator. The other and, elevator by the other dinos. Yeah, so I go to the other elevator, and she's not there, nor is my father, but my uncle and all of his children are. Huh. So I'm like, so I found I found half of them. Where's the other one who told me actively she was at the elevator by the dinos? <laughs> so now I'm questing for my mom, and my mom's like, oh, we were at the other elevator by the dinosaurs. And I was like, stop! That's too many. <laughs> you silly Billy. You didn't check the third elevator by the dinos. <laughs> she was like, oh, no, you got up. Uh, you got off by the stegosaurus. We were by the T-Rex. And I was like, they're not labeled like this, mother. I can't read! <laughs> and I, I don't know what dinos are called. Someone said, they put bugs in them. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was me, except I was the bug. They put so many bugs in me, I was the bug. This is a good drawing, Jacob. Yeah, this is just nice. Damn. Thank you. I think I need to move his head ever so slightly, but other than that, I'm really happy with this. Maybe he's just listening in on someone else's conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give him just a little bit of that. Oh, he you say you have see. a heart in your floor? <laughs> Ooh, fascinating. Ooh, juicy <laughs> details. Tell me, tell me. Tell Go me on. more. I'd love to know. Is that my second cousin slash wife I hear? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's normal. Is that my multi-toed cats? That's all I know about Edgar Allan Poe. Is that <laughs> it's a multi-toed cat? He had cats that had too many toes. He had like nine of them. Polydactyl all of them. cats. Yeah, he had polydactyl nice. cats. <sighs> okay, so I've drawn Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> and I've drawn Ernest Hemingway. And now it's time for me. And now we'll have Julia draw something. What Yay! dead writer am I drawing? I'm dr I'm the one drawing dead writers. Okay, that's Jacob's yeah. thing. No one yeah. suggests to me any dead writers. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, you can't do that because I didn't do that. So it would just be weird if everyone was doing that except for me. Don't suggest any alive writers too because we don't know if they'll be canceled yet. <laughs> we just can't deal with that shit right now, okay? Yeah. It's too much. Hello. Rawr. I'm here. I'm gonna use this opportunity to go and pee. Wow. Have I fun. arrived just in time. Uh, uh, hit my knee a million times. Yeah, you did. I don't... I'll do... Huh? As you get... as you get um suggestions i'll fill you in on my story that i already told okay and i told it to jacob twice but i'll i've only told it to chat once so they get to hear it twice now nice but, uh, my my cousin was in town nice and uh we saw hades town Ooh, night. how was it i've heard great things it, oh it's wonderful this is my second time seeing it oh really <laughs> i took my parents like in 2019 so um but it's fun because um you know they changed the cast up so like the the two leads were like the ones who've always been doing it which mm -hmm. i love them so that's great but uh, most of the rest of the cast had been like changed up so it's really nice to see being you know with different cast members because everyone plays it so different what is it about? It's about uh, the story of Orpheus and Eurydice. So fun. But uh, yeah, it was super cool. Loved it. Got recognized outside of the theater right in front of my cousin and all his friends. <laughs> oh, really? 
<laughs> and they funny. were so nice, but I was like so embarrassed. <laughs> I was kind of sure I was going to be spotted in the Museum of Natural History. And then I didn't, and that was fine. Um, yeah, I'm like, it's okay. always so nice, but it's just extra embarrassing in front of other people's. Was Hades a different casting? Yes. A uh, different guy. He did not do the, like, extreme baritone for the songbird song, uh, but... Still really good. So Dilphy. Um The main difference is that Hermes, because, you know, uh, typically or originally played by a man, was now played by a woman. It was interesting because it really changes up the style of, like, how she would sing. Because mm -hmm. originally it was... Because it's all very, like, jazzy. It's like jazz music. Like New I've Orleans seen their sounding. tiny desk. That's it. Yeah, um, but uh, with this woman playing Hades, now she was doing, it was like adding more of a gospel style mm -hmm. to uh, the part. So that was like really cool to see. That's awesome. That sounds great. Yeah. It was so fun. Welcome back, Jacob. Why are Hi. you? How dare you be late? What are you? What Who are would be late to a stream? What are y'all talking about? Karina was, was telling me was the Hades. Julia up on the Hades town. Oh yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, we gotta go see a musical sometime. Yeah, yeah. we should we see should. Hades town. Yeah, I think y'all would love that one. Karina, you want to see it a third time? I mean, I wouldn't be against it, but I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> How does body work? And if and for chat, uh, cause you know Broadway exclusivity, typically inaccessible. I believe uh, I might just be making this up, but I bel I want to say that Hades Town started off as a concept album. So if you just listen to the soundtrack to it, um, like of course seeing it on stage, it has like so much, you know stage direction that's like so well done but the music itself is just really good if you haven't checked it out that's cool check out the tiny desk i do love a concept album yeah. the npr tiny desk is very good on hades town yeah i think every album should be <laughs> a progressive <laughs> rock concept <laughs> album <laughs> It makes anything better, I think. Have any of us watched The Bear? <laughs> Do The Bear on <laughs> We've not watched The Bear, but <laughs> Karina's friend Alex kept telling us. He kept saying, hey, y'all, y'all, do y'all know that show The Bear? And we we're like, yeah. And he's like, do that on Drawfee. <laughs> Do the bear on Droppy. And we're like, like, what does that mean? Yeah. He's like, you know the bear. Like, do it. Do it on Droppy, the bear. <laughs> just, do, just do the bear on Droppy. So now every time I hear about the bear, I think just do that on Droppy. Just do the bear on Droppy. I've heard it's good. Heard it's a good show. <laughs> and, you know, maybe I'll watch it and then we can do it on Droppy. Yeah. <laughs> you just do the bear on Joffy. Jacob and I started several good shows and we have continued none of them. <laughs> we were just like, that's really good. We should keep watching. And we go, yeah. Anyway. Left on red. Anyway, moving on. I'm starting to think My... that what. Oh, go ahead. No, you go first. I was just going to say, I'm starting to think that my favorite way to watch a show is to just watch the first episode of it and then just hey, like imagine, imagine what the rest of it might be like. <laughs> oh, you're creative. <laughs> um, I was just going to say that part of the trip since I was staying with David is that they did finally force me to watch three episodes of Big Brother season 10. <laughs> oh my God. How was it? And... It was it was fun, like absolutely understand, and it was entertaining. But it was just a very fun time uh, for me because I couldn't tell any of the white men on the show apart. 
They're all very except same for, face. Yeah, except for one guy who was old, and then there was another guy who was buff. But there was this one guy, Brian, who I just like couldn't tell who he was half the time. And I'd be like, okay, remind me who's the one who's talking? And David will be like, that's Brian. And then like five minutes later, it'll be like a different group of people. And I'm like, okay, but like, who's that guy? And they would be like, that's still Brian. He just took his hat <laughs> off. And I'm like, I couldn't tell <laughs> with the hat being off. <laughs> would it help if he started referring to him as Brian hat mode? <laughs> <laughs> Brian HM. <laughs> A la Beelzeman. I'll just like wear big uh name tags until i learn their faces because i did not learn them quite enough in three episodes and there's like also two blonde ladies and that's like really hard for me yeah what are you it's supposed hard to for do me. with that <laughs> and i am a white blonde lady yeah <laughs> you keep thinking they're you I'm like <laughs> is, is that, that julia yeah me and twitter have no idea who i am <laughs> Um, I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, I, am I actually face blind? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that's like officially diagnosable, but even yesterday at Hades town, cause you know, there's like the chorus and it's, um, you know, just like five, five people and they like all look very distinct, but they do a costume change mid show where they're like, uh, wearing kind of like caps that cover their hair. And I was just like, I can't tell them apart with the caps. I know there's a tall one. Oh, geez. I think you might have face blindness. I couldn't tell one. I was like, did they add like a different guy? Did they switch one of them out? Because like, I don't recognize him. And then he took the like cap off and I was like, oh, I might be dumb. <laughs> Karina needs them to be like, anime color labeled so like you're the pink type <laughs> you're the red type you're the blue type look i just it's all about uh clothes and hair like i i can i can figure that out faster than the rest of it so take that away from me and i got nothing i'm nothing <laughs> i'm a fraud <laughs> was the um the big brother that you watched the only thing i know about big brother is that dan geesling was on it was dan geesling in the one you watched i don't think so because he's a twitch streamer now wait no it is he's yes okay my bad yes uh yeah he's one of the white guys Sorry. he's one of the there white guys so yeah many yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I uh, yeah, you should have led with that because David did explain the entire backstory of of him being a <laughs> being a Twitch. I I found him on Twitch and like YouTube, <gasps> and I didn't know he was on Big Brother. He's like really funny on that on Big Brother. <laughs> he he cracks me up on Twitch too. He's like really stupid in like a genius way. Yeah. That makes that really is funny to me. <laughs> okay, yes, that is the season with him. Um it's just ch a chat season really wants to know what you're drawing, Julia. Someone yeah. someone said uh sincere Winry art. Oh, I thought oh. it was Winry. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna have her like taking a little break. Yeah, I was just gonna let you do it. It's really nice. Thank you. I haven't drawn in a bit. Gonna let you cook like the bear. I'm doing it. Like I'm the doing bear. the bear on Drawfee. <laughs> You're doing the bear on Drawfee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> we have to do an episode of like the most nonsensical suggestions we've gotten from friends. Yeah. Like the show. I mean, we did. Yeah. <laughs> from, yeah. No one told you life was going to be this way. This episode was going to be this way. Uh, you're already blowing all the good material. <laughs> no, we can't do it anymore. Uh, I mean, we made the Dark Souls love actually into an entire episode. Literally, <laughs> literally what is stopping us? 
We can do anything we want. Doing the bear on Drawfee. <laughs> just do the bear on Drawfee. <laughs> We just titled the episode, We Did the Bear on Drawfee. Yeah. And, and then, see what happens with that. Yeah, the whole episode is us exploring what the hell that means. <laughs> Two million views. <laughs> it's like a disastrous episode for view count. <laughs> um, every drawing we do, if we draw a character, they have to have an apron. <laughs> that's how you do it that's the bear I did see bear. someone in chat saying that the bear was a sports anime like Queen's Gambit and that's a sentence that will get me to watch something if you're like going for like my activation phrase yes. calling something a, a sports anime I will make me watch it and Queen's Gambit was definitely a sports anime 100% Okay, but like, what what makes it a sports? What what does that mean? What's the qualifier? It's like a set of qualifiers. Yeah, like we've had this discussion before, and I'm gonna make the same punchline. I imagine I did the last time we had it, but I like to ask. To me, it is a sports anime. If the whole season is basically a tournament arc, it revolves around like one long competition where the characters are like singularly focused on on winning this competition and then you get to learn about the characters and their relationships through the lens of them all competing uh in some way um for like one prize i think that's what makes it a sports anime that's why glee is a sports anime okay that was my next question <laughs> yeah it definitely is glee is for sure a sports, like, anime. a sports anime yeah and um yeah, Pitch Perfect, that could be a sports anime, definitely. DBZ is not a sports anime because DBZ does not revolve around a singular competition. If the whole show was about like the fighting tournament itself, like in Dragon Ball when they go to like the Budokai, if the whole show were about that, then it would be. But it's not. It's like constantly escalating stakes and different things that aren't competitions and so it doesn't really fit the bill this foot is so big pokemon's not a sports anime again it would be if all of pokemon resolved around, revolved around one pokemon tournament i did start to get jacob into soccer um, because there was one nice. team where they had a um, where they had like the lead duo that are like always together and like when they're on the field together like awesome things happen and Jacob was like like my animes I got like a little bit of characterization <laughs> and I was like I'm on board you're telling uh, me these two always uh, pass to each other and score goals like that they're yeah. like Hinata and Kageyama. <laughs> Is They're dinner like at boys. medieval times a sports anime? No, because in medieval times, you don't really get to know the characters of the knights. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like a fake sport, but there's no, there's no real narrative there. Yeah, you got to know the motivations here behind everyone's. Yeah, if they I couldn't remember how much narrative detail they gave about each night the one time I went there. Not a lot. But what if they did? Then it would be a sports anime. Yeah, then it would be to me. Is Record of Ragnarok a sports sure anime? Is... Yes, Record of Ragnarok is a sports anime. Yeah, but it's not a good Deeply. one. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is not watch a sports it. anime. It's a BL. <laughs> yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh I wouldn't count. Yeah, get out of here. Oops. If you've watched a lot of sports anime, you know one when you see one because it it instills in you the same feelings when you watch There's one. There's one anime that I watched as a kid that I really need to go revisit because it's kind of pog, but I never watched it all the way through. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaleido Star. Not heard of it. Yeah, I don't think I know that. It's it's a sports anime, but it's about this girl who wants to be like a Cirque du Soleil acrobat. 
Oh. That sounds cool. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, and she is just driven by pure gumption, but there's also like this strange little elf there. I don't know, but it's just a lot of like acrobatics and it's uh good. That but sounds like I, something I'd be into. It's on Crunchyroll. I I've been meaning to revisit it as like a background background uh anime. It's just it's fun. They do they do crazy stunts. I love stunts. Yeah. There's a it's reminded me there's a there's a manga that I've been meaning to read. I'm just going to look it up right now so I don't forget. Huh? There's a there's a ice skating manga. Ooh. That is not Yuri on Ice. I was about to say is it? <laughs> That's not a manga. Yuri on Ice. I think. Actually, I guess, I guess it'd be turned away. It's a newer one. Oh, it's called Metalist. Ooh. And I heard it's really good. Because no it's, it's about... Uh, I'll tell you what it's about. Hold on. Oh, baby, I can't wait. I'm going to read you the, the synopsis. Just tell me what it's just tell me what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my synopsis? You don't get one. I'm waiting. I'm looking at reference. I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the screen. Okay. Yes. It's about a guy who wanted to be a figure skater, but he started too late. To became a hockey and player. And then he met a little girl in whom he saw himself, who was a fifth grader, who was so desperate to skate that she practiced in secret. She was branded useless by everyone around her, told it was too late for her to begin, and that catching up to other skaters was impossible. So he takes her on to coach her Ooh. to be a great skater. And it, I've heard it's really good. Noted. So there you go. There's a rec. I haven't read it, but I'm still recommending it anyways. Oh, there's a question. Could Big Brother be a sports anime? I don't know if reality shows by their very nature can count. I think it has to be like like narrative and in, in design. It's more just like a sport. <laughs> It's like if I watch well, football, sport. football is not a sports anime. Well, it's just sport. Is it reality TV? I'm saying reality TV is kind of like a sport. <laughs> What's real anymore, really? Damn. Are we really all anime? I think. <laughs> is my life an anime? Question mark exclamation point. That's the title of my manga. About me. It's <laughs> the title of this VOD. The ultimate yeah. answer is no. <laughs> you find out by the end that it's that it's not. <laughs> it's actually just it's just normal. You know, normal. <laughs> <laughs> is Knight's Tale a sports anime? A Knight's Tale is a great movie. It could be argued that it is. I think Use so. Use your own brain, chat. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? I want to hear me. what you think. Julia, I like this drawing. This is really yeah. cute. Thank you. Yeah. Feels like a real moment in time. Give Winry more screen time. Oh, I, I don't to actually tell you believe in that. Julia. Yes. And also Karina, but mostly Julia. Yeah. Um, Fair. Our cat sitter came by today to give us back our keys, but she was walking this dog, okay. and it was like this little, like Labradoodle esque guy. Okay. But like smaller than a Labradoodle, and like like dark brown, black in uh -huh. color. I don't know if what you call that dog if it was a Labradoodle. It had the curly hair. Uh huh. And as soon as I opened the door, the dog was hyped. 
out of its freaking mind to see me and like essentially jumped like halfway up my body Aww. and the dog was going nuts just like to get pets and affection and i was like oh my god it's you you're here That's I, awesome. I have never seen a dog so psyched to get pets that like didn't already previously know you yeah i love when a dog is just fucking psyched yeah to get pets it was such a nice little treat Aw, how nice. To pet a dog unexpectedly. Yeah. Dogs are good. I don't know if you know this. That angle on this freaking box, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. I've decided I just don't <laughs> care. It's more of a That's decorative a element. It's a framing element. Yeah. It's not meant to be literal yeah, yeah. it's an some... illustration yeah it doesn't have to be <laughs> so real stop complaining chat <laughs> chat shut up about the box okay chat you're losing your minds why did you bring it up <laughs> i'm getting sick of all of you talking about this box nothing but this box the whole time yeah what are you trying to prove you think you could draw a better box i doubt it Bunch of Unbelievable. Weird looking wrenches. Ungrateful. All these people that give They're us money. Literal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being patrons. Thank you. Thank we you. love you. Patrons, Thank you. yum. <laughs> patrons, yum. Patrons, yum. Support, uh, so good. Hey. <laughs> okay. Spicy. <laughs> no, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. I'm racially ambiguous enough that I could do that. Yeah, I think you and could. Ring light. <laughs> I think it would be easy for you. Yeah. I think it would be too easy for you. It would feel too natural. <laughs> <laughs> it would fundamentally change how I interact with people. <laughs> and I don't think I need to keep doing that. It's already pretty fucked up. Um, anyway, this is my drawing. This is good. Cool. Thank you. Which brush you use? Toothy G pen? Toothy G. I like that Toothy G. I like the Toothy G. It's fun. Uh, we sent it back to Karina. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you have I to. I almost hit and I almost hit. I made the thing go away. Please. Uh, Please hit the don't. H key. Thank you. Because it never does what it's supposed to do. No. What technology does, really? There we go. Okay, we back. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> Thank you. Is Barbie Ken Lloyd in the R? <laughs> That's so good. My name is Barbie <laughs> Ken Lloyd in the R. <laughs> and Lloyd I'm here to sell you Ooh, insurance. Are you Ugh, I would, but I don't feel like I can do it justice right now. <laughs> Me, Samo? You, Samo. Uh, it's a twice subunit. Me, Me, Me Samo? You, you, Mina, Sana, Momo. You, you, Samo. Uh, <laughs> they put out a music video and it's so fucking fire. It's it's like art museum themed it's like art museum concept excuse me that sounds fun I'll show you later i feel like yeah. julia would like this yeah is it like that bts music video where they're just like floating around all the marble statues <laughs> no from like a million years ago <laughs> Ooh, dilf hades um... I have that in me today. These are all great suggestions. I'm just like <laughs> the bear could drink on Drafi. <laughs> Do the bear on Drafi? Could you imagine? <laughs> Sanrio the bear. <laughs> King Boo Dilf. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sex. <laughs> I won't. I won't sex to him. 
Is that a drawing suggestion or a command? I think it's a command. Stop drawing. God, Sex I hate this. Sex right now. Sex him. <laughs> He's waiting. He's waiting. Lightning McQueen, Gajinka, Julia already drew that. I did, yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't, I can't do any of this shit. Um, so, sex Spampton, whatever. I'm not going to sex Spampton. <laughs> not in the middle of the afternoon on a Friday. <laughs> That's when he likes to get sex. Hades, Hades Town. It's not going to be representative of any actor. It'll just be Hades, Hades Town. I'll take that silence as a sign. <laughs> oh, are you asking us? I guess so. It's that's fine with me. Yeah, if you want to do it, I'm I say happy go with, for it. With that. Sorry, my brain left my body for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just zoned out. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <sighs> We're reaching the part of the day where I'm my lizard brain is going wild and I just don't have it in me. I was in the sun for more than a single minute, so my brain's like, mm, time to sleep. It's like an egg. Yeah. yeah. A cooked I'm, egg. Trust me, I'm excited to be here, but I haven't super had time to wind down completely ever since our trip. So. Um, Same. Yeah. When does vacation I, I, start? I'm just never. It's ending. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's over. Come on, I didn't get one day. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I, I, it's gonna be introvert weekend for Karina. This is my last thing I need to do before yeah. I can disappear from society. Uh, my only plans for the rest of the day are down. watch the USA game tonight. The oh, women's yeah. World Cup. Imagine a whole world started. of women and the cup that they <laughs> might award. I wish women were real. <laughs> it is a sports anime. No, it's just a sport. <laughs> You're contradicting yourself. Shut the fuck up. No. Listen, real sports are sports. Women's sports. <laughs> yeah, they're fake because are, are anime. I mean, okay, women can't can do believe. sports in real life. Yeah, <laughs> they can't. It would they they're too gentle for sports. I thought Sorry. you were gonna say yeah. they're too gendered. <laughs> <laughs> they're two women gendered. They're two women gendered. They're two women. How could they do it? What if we were at the World Cup and we were two women? <laughs> <laughs> the ticket guy starts saying. sweating. He's like, I don't. Well, how do I? What time is it? I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna do another. I. I, I haven't sketched that much. I've been drawing. I don't know why it's not working today. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't do. That's yeah. life, baby. Been working on the same fucking Neopets drawing for like two weeks. <laughs> we'll get there someday. That's too long. I think I'm cursed because every time this week I've gone to my computer to draw something, uh, a disaster has happened that's needed fixing. So I think I just shouldn't. I think I just shouldn't. It's fine. I would like if Julia just had the freedom to draw for fun. No, never. I cannot. Um, someone said, for real, the Women's World Cup is awesome if you're into soccer. It is great. It's awesome. Yeah, the women go so much harder than the men. Yeah. Yeah. They go sicko mode out there. There's so much shoving in that game. I watched the <laughs> Ireland game yesterday, and um, God, that was a physical game. It was just like the other team. I think it was uh, it was Australia. Australia kept doing this move because they have like a different kind of soccer over there or something, which is like more physical. So I don't know if it's like affecting this, but they um, they kept like pin like 
one woman would have the ball and then Australia would come in and just like smash into them from opposite sides and get the ball. And that's just like how that game played. And the other person would always just like get back up and get back into it. And wow, I was like, I'd be didn't dead. Even pretend to be so hurt. <laughs> I'm like, I'm. They I'd didn't be... even fall. Yeah. Oh no, they would go flying um, <laughs> because of the impact. But then th they would just pop back up, being like, "Good." Like, no, Damn, okay, no, wait for the ambulance. <laughs> it's okay. You're a walking corpse. You got smushed. I would not recover from this. Julie, are you sure you're not watching rugby? I do watch rugby. Not like a lot, but I do watch it. It's fun. Why is it called rugby? What else would it be called? I don't know. Anything that related to the game itself. Maybe, um... Why is it not called, like, Scrum... Scrum Zone? <laughs> I mean, that Why is... Why is it not called Scrum? Tell me that. I mean, Tell there me is, that. There is a rugby move called Scrum. I know that you scrum in rugby, so they should call it Scrum. Scrumby. Scrumby! Um, let's find out why rugby is called rugby, shall we? I'd love to know. Okay. Yeah. Zephyr says named after the place in England, I think, which was called rugby. Private schools each used different rules during this period with former pupils from rugby and Eton. Wow, oh, Eton lost so hard. The sport was called rugby. That's such a UK thing to name a whole sport. Just the name of a place. Yeah. They should call Rodeo Texas. <laughs> they should call Rodeo Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Doing some Texas. Engaging in some Texas. But then why is the town called rugby? That's a good question. No one's answering that. All right. Time to dive deeper. Well, it was like... It was a it was rugby it was like a rugby school. It's hold on. Can't you tell me this is a sports anime? That's what we're telling you. Oh my god. It was called rugby football. Canadian football and to a lesser extent American football were once considered forms of rugby football. Doesn't rugby have even less kicking than American football? No. Or about the same amount of kicking? I would say they kick a little bit more. You think they kick more? Yeah, because you got sometimes when your team is really getting overwhelmed, you kick it up the field to just like get the ball away. And then you got to kick it through the uprights. More kicking. Okay. So it's it's got a better claim to the name football than American football does. Hmm. <laughs> Karina, I feel like Zoom is like fucking with your mic. Is it? God. When you're not talking for a while, I think Zoom is increasing the volume. And then it's like just picking up you like dr like drawing noises. But then when you start talking, it like reduces back down to be normal. That's so stupid. I hate Zoom. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, it's just I'm like, not even going to bother with no. that right now. No. But not worth it. It's not worth like looking into, but it might be, you know, before we do the next one, worth yeah, like seeing no, if you can turn I've been off the such auto. A, I, it wasn't even on auto. I'll, I did well, check Well, next that. one, presumably, I, I, she'll be here. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. Yeah, but um, yeah, I haven't. I've been such a lazy bitch about setting audio up properly yeah. on this computer because I figured eventually you'd just do it for me. I mean, we're coming over at <laughs> some yeah, point. That to is set my intention. Up. So I keep not doing it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Because I've I've been doing a lot of like hopping onto streams and stuff but it's like also through discord which is its own fucking nightmare its own so, can of shit yeah i'm just like i'm just not gonna do anything actually i'm gonna make it everyone else's problem but mine it's just so funny that like 
your your zoom is like well i hear some sort of noise coming from that side Let's I, I, investigate. I think we should really increase the volume to pick up any yeah. noise <laughs> what did you say bonk bonk <laughs> <laughs> And then you come back in to talk, and it's like blown out. And Zoom's like, "Oh, oh, shit!" Oh, reduce, God, reduce. Back up, back up. No I longer enhance. It's fun. Miss I live. I love that so much audio stuff is just auto leveled, and all I can do is apologize for it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's Sorry, fine. I didn't, I didn't realize. Someone says, "Is this a voice pen noises?" <laughs> <laughs> It kind of sounded like someone was dribbling a basketball. <laughs> Droppy's it's a, a sports, sports anime. anime. We knew that, though. Confirmed. Do you I remember mean, Basketball Boy? Fucking talk. What? I remember Basketball Boy. There was a boy who used to dribble a basketball outside our apartment for, like, hours on end. <laughs> and then just during some <laughs> stream. said that so casually. I'm like, is that an anime? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it was a thing because... There were a few Drawfee streams where there was just a basketball boy outside our apartment. Yeah. Dribbling. Just bouncing. And then there's a flute person. Oh my god, the flute person. Who's who's genuinely very good at the flute. Yeah, they're just practicing in their home. But, we but hear sometimes it. when you're out at night, <laughs> yeah. if the wind is, is still, you can hear a flute running scales. Still, my favorite thing that's ever happened um, on the side, like near this apartment that wasn't relating to this apartment was the boy who I was on the phone and I'm looking out the window and this boy just walks up across the street holding like a trumpet case and puts it down oh, no. on the sidewalk, opens it, pulls out a trumpet and just practices, plays like... And by practices, I mean he plays one song really poorly throughout the whole song, does the whole song, puts it back in the case, closes the case, and just walks away. <laughs> and it was so, like, decided. <laughs> this kid was just like, and now. His performance was this done. Is, yeah, this is the place. <laughs> this is where I'm going to practice. He does that everywhere. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. He just chooses a new place every day. Hello, Miss Alive. To spread the joy of music. Hello, Miss Alive. I think that's beautiful. I don't like this drawing at all, but whatever. I heard the girls had zoomies while I was while I was away. They were going crazy. It's because they got a, a catnip. Our oh. cat sitter got, got them some gifts. Oh, hello. And they had like a like a catnip tea bag toy. That's cute. And they were both playing with that, and they were both just like running full tilt. Hi, sweetie. Back and forth across the apartment, just like knocking shit over, jumping on things. Were you losing your mind for the cat now? Yeah. Were you enjoying it? Yes. Karina, I don't know Hades Town, and so to me right now, this looks like a Yakuza OC. Hades in this, he's very much a capitalist, and he does kind of have that vibe. That's it, cool. If you put a collar this open on a strong guy, it's Yakuza. He's very hot. To me. Also, I'm loving this line quality. I like this Thank brush you're you. using and what you're doing this with it. This is another brush. I downloaded it because it like was very clearly emulating um <laughs> like Yu-Gi-Oh uh, oh, really? for what it's like trying to be. Yeah, it was like it's it's like a sketch brush for a card game anime. <laughs> That's so funny. So, yeah, I was just like, "Oh, perfect. I want to try that." I like it though. Uh, it's nice. I was like I was like really determined for this to be like a good drawing, but I'm losing steam. <laughs> That's yeah. It's so good. it it's is good. what it's it good. is. It's good Thank so you. far. Thank you. It's good to you, and I'll accept that. Uh, zero in chat has been posting the um, the copy pasted name of the brush. Oh. So if you want to find it, you can copy paste that. Japanese text. Yeah, thank you, thank you for people who source our brushes, because I gotta be real, I don't remember 
half the time. I just download things and they're not in English, so I can't like source them on the spot. Yeah. yeah. And I rename so, a lot of mine too. Yeah. I, I started doing that, but when I got the new computer, I had uh, it all got reset. <laughs> it's like, well. So I was mostly just like, fine, I'll just like fucking put everything back the way it was. I know I know roughly what's what. That's a fun shape. That's a fun dynamic brush. Oh, okay. Ooh, chunky. I'll, I'll take it. I like it. Zephyr said this kind of looks like Spencer's portrait. Damn. Well, you're not wrong. Kind of does look Damn. like Spencer's portrait. Shit. <laughs> Just kind of have Spencer and Spencer face, but he has, Spencer face. he has white hair. He has white hair. A little bit of Spencer and he's base a in my life. He's a capitalist. <laughs> Bye, Olive. Yeah, the the Hades in Hades town is like uh, he uh, hell is a mine. He like owns a mine. So does he sing like the, the the mine song from Pocahontas? No. <laughs> Why would he do that, Julia? <laughs> Julia, why would you mine. say that? That's the worst moment of the stream right there. Oh, I'm sorry. The fact that you said that. <laughs> I'll go back to the museum and after this, right? <laughs> yeah, go back and come back and we'll start over. I think we should start every stream at the end saying what the worst moment of the stream was. Really shame one yeah. of us. Yeah, point out who who did yeah. like the worst joke, worst story. Yeah, but we can also do like play of the game. Yeah, play of the game. <laughs> For this one, it was uh, Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> Ernest. 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 Ernest Hemingway Ernest. telling you to read. Yeah. Oh, um, my cousin's siren time. It's, it's siren time. That's your cousin. Yeah, my cousin is a car. Cars is real. <laughs> Ciao. 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 That's my favorite light novel. Cars is real. My, co my cousin is a car. My cousin is a car. <laughs> parentheses. Cars is real. <laughs> <laughs> Double parentheses. Ciao. It's like that bluey clip where he's like, <laughs> it is an elephant. Turns into the car. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Becomes a car. Anyway, my cousins, uh, these are some American cousins I have. Um, it was their first time in New York. And, you know, again, they're young. One of them is going into eighth grade. I can't remember oh. what grade the boys are going into, but they, um, well, the girl's going into 10th grade, 10th grade. Yeah. 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 Damn. And then she has two younger brothers, but, um, my uncle gave them a bunch of like, they were going into sixth grade. Oh, okay. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, my <laughs> uncle gave them a bunch of rules about, you know, being smart in New York, like, if mm -hmm. you if someone tries to get your attention for the love of god don't <laughs> don't don't give in um <laughs> and he was like if you see your favorite character on the street we are not taking a photo with them and so they they told us this yesterday when we saw them and then today uh one of the boys comes over and he goes you know who we saw on the way here Definitely Mickey Mouse. <laughs> the real one. He was like, it's definitely Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I just really liked how he said it. It was cracking me up. <laughs> like, we did not take a photo with him. I'm like, good. Well, he's awesome. probably so busy. Officially licensed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he runs Disney. Yeah, he's got to go do Disney things. Got to go do Disney. Mickey Douse. Is that dude's name? Mickey Doubt. <laughs> Mickey Doubt. <laughs> Press X to Mickey Doubt. <laughs> I 
He's so doofy. You hiding that other hand again? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Some days this was not meant for hands. I like this guy. I, I I did a good hand on your. You did. I can confirm. I like the white and I like the blue underdrawing. It's giving it it's giving it levels, oh. man. Thank you. I was just gonna get rid of the blue underdrawing, but maybe now I won't. I like it. It's giving it some some like fashion pizzazz. Fashion pizzazz. Jeez. Mixed media and like a good outfit always makes me think. Fashion illustration. Do I have it in me to do a uh, hand? You shamed Karina and now she's feeling the pressure. Well, you already have won the best hand of the stream award. That's true. With yours hand. I did? Yeah, because I haven't drawn any hands. I hid both of mine. And Julia hid, hid the hands. So you're the only one who's drawn a hand. What if I drew two hands? Give her a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Day made. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I went to our old sandwich stomping grounds for lunch. Ooh. Where'd you go? I went to Lenwich. Lenwich. <gasps> yeah. You're so lucky. I was hoping you had gone to uh, Capone's. Oh, no. Lenwich was the, the, the go-to. Yeah. Capone's was on special days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went to Lenwich because my dad's not a very adventurous eater. And I was like, this place just has, like, good subs. And also, I'm not sure what the kids eat. So I was like, yeah. there's definitely a sandwich. So, like... Something for everyone. And it was close by. And everyone was having trouble walking, basically. So Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. You just get so exhausted after, a, you know, big museum. Museums are tiring. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Hades, Hades Town. Yeah, we're, we're ignore that hand. Admire the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. I love the lean. Thank you. It's Hades, Hades Town. Hades, Hades Town. He's so dilfy. He's Literally, here. just Google Hades, Hades Town. He's so hot. Jacob, I can draw again since so you drew twice. And you have a cat in your lap. Okay. Did you drew twice? Yeah, I drew two dead authors. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You should draw me Samuel. <laughs> no, no other authors so you can have can draw died. twice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I've looked up Hades, look Hades Town. He's like hot. Oh, yeah. It's a photo of him doing a little step. He kind of looks like Ernest Hemingway. He kind of looks like Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> <laughs> You should sex spam too. <laughs> Co-star in chat said, there are two hands inside you. Never mind, I said that wrong. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> I mean, if you're lucky. On a good day. <sighs> Hades, Hades town equal green goblin. So true. Also equals... Uh, Frollo in the Hunchback of Notre Dame off Broadway musical. Froyo. Froyo. What am I drawing? Hornet Hollow Knight? Okay. That was easy. Hornet <laughs> Hollow Knight. Can't wait to play Silk Song. Whenever that comes out. Definitely this year, for sure. I hate Googling Hornet Hollow Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see some some art? It's, yeah, let's say art. You need to see some art? Hey, Karina. What? This has reminded me. Did you see oh, that uh, that pregnant Sonic song? 
Oh my god. Yes, I saw the pregnant Sonic song. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is a bop. He's a hero and a mother. <laughs> He's a hero and a mother. <laughs> Natal glow like no other. <laughs> Pregnant Sonic. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with pregnant Sonic. <laughs> I just, when I started watching that video, I wasn't ready for such a well produced song. I honestly yeah. thought Jacob was showing it to me because Drawfee was going to have a drawing in there. Because he can't, he, he like really walked up We've to me with such determination. Sonic. No, and I was wondering what drawing would be in there and like how and why. And no, he was just really jazzed about this, this song. It, it kind of is a bop. Yeah, it's been a bad week for Karina getting tagged in things um, unsolicited everywhere. Yeah, so, I figured. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> I figured somebody had delivered unto you pregnant. At Sonic. least once. Um, I did find it organically prior, mm -hmm. and also there's been a lot of Neopets news this week, and I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up! I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything. First of all, I check Jelly Neo like every other day. And the day all the news broke, it happened to be a day I didn't check it. But you know who told me about it before the rest of you bitches? <laughs> Jonah. <laughs> oh my God. Of all people. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, I was informed. <laughs> I was on the ground Lorbo floor. Lorbo told me. <laughs> thanks to Jonah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Google pregnant Sonic song. The rest of song. you are so 2000 and late. Yes. If you want to know about it. <laughs> Is that the advice we're giving people right now? Yeah. Okay. It's Google healthy. pregnant Sonic song. <laughs> it's a healthy. It's healthy. Look, I don't. I'm I'm only cautiously optimistic about the Neopets news. Like, let's not go crazy. But I do hope they'll get Neo Homes fixed faster so that I can put all of the Harris chairs I keep buying inside of it. I think they should shut down Neopets permanently. <laughs> they should give me Neopets. Or that. That's actually better. That would be yeah. better. You did I'll this hornet think... so fast. <laughs> yeah, and it's like cool. It's like cool. I really like hornet. What the hell? She rules. But yeah, because my favorite uh, Neopets like oopsie doopsie of the year so far has been when they desynced their clock <laughs> <laughs> that was, that so was just funny. so funny to me um i forget if we've talked about it on stream but for those who didn't know there was a period of time in may where the neopets uh like programming accidentally desynced the clock that you know runs within neopets somehow which wouldn't be a problem, except that Neopets had a huge security breach like last year. So a lot of people use two factor authentication, but if, if the clock is desynced, you have to like count, you have to account for that desync when you're doing two factor authentication. And um, it went unfixed for so long. It was just slipping back like by a few seconds, you know, however however long that took but by the time they fixed it it was almost two minutes behind like real time so uh that was just imagine like getting your little like code and then having to wait two minutes <laughs> to get the correct code <laughs> because of a, a time rift <laughs> but it was just so funny because I was sending it to my brother because my brother uh, works in programming and he's just like, this is not a problem they should be having. Time sync is the easiest thing to fix. That's what keeps the entire internet from <laughs> falling apart. <laughs> it's just a switch that you click. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. It took them four days to fix it. 
I can't imagine what an absolute lasagna the back end of Neopets looks like. Just nothing but spaghetti code. So I, I'm not saying that the people who work there are uh, incompetent, but uh, it was a very funny, it was a very funny mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just as hard to fix as turning on monetization for a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. Which apparently takes 30 days to do. No matter what. They should what. have tweeted about it. Oh my God. It would have been fixed instantly if they just tweeted about it at whoever controls the internal clock of any given <laughs> website. It takes 30 days to do until you contact someone who can just click the button. Instantly fixing the problem. Because I don't know anything about programming, but when I was telling my brother about it, he just sent a screenshot that just shows like a switch of like sync time up. <laughs> so it's clearly from somewhere. So I don't know how it could possibly be set up on the Neopets back end. What a nightmare to think about. <laughs> I feel like they really should just like redo it all. Start from I mean, scratch. One would think, but. I don't know. <laughs> I don't That's know what I would works. do if I were them. There's so much there. I don't know. I'd go look at it right now, but I refuse to log into Neopets on this computer since it's the work computer, and I don't trust Neopets security for some reason. So, uh, yeah. I wonder why. Yeah, there's no reason, I guess. But yeah, I just hope that they update Neo Home so I can put my 200 Harris chairs somewhere. <laughs> just a room of Harris chairs. Yeah, that's the goal. I just think it's fun to like completely destroy their market value when I'm stressed out. <laughs> and you know I you know I was stressed out when they demonetized the channel, so <laughs> like well, back to the Harris chairs. <laughs> I just think it's funny. I just think it's funny when I individually cause inflation <laughs> of Paris chairs. I also 200 think 200 of the same chair? Yes. Well, do. I think Harris chairs are cute. I want more than 200 of them. I want 500 of them. Julia, can you do me a favor? What's that? In this big blank space you have, yeah. can you put Ernest Hemingway in there telling you to read? <laughs> yeah. Is it this one? Okay. Oh my god. Kissing. <laughs> They're kissing. <laughs> Oops. Hello? Nighttime. Sorry, he's pretty wide. <laughs> you can give him more body if you want him to be like giant. <laughs> no, I think what I'll do instead... Oh, he's like in the sky. Yeah. He's emerging from the clouds. <laughs> Delivering a message to Hornet Hollow, not Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow Knight. Go, <laughs> Hollow Knight. Slay, gang gang. <laughs> and then if you want to put a porf in here, we'll be. Uh, are, we, yeah. are, we, are we there? We're done. We're two minutes out. Oh, are we out. free? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's everyone going to read? Probably um, Miguel Peter B. Parker fanfic. How about you guys? Um, what am I reading? That, but like the nastier <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you know I'm what gonna, I'm talking about. I'm going to read the back of my eyelids. I do. Oh my god. While we I'm still sleeping. need to sex Bampton. <laughs> I'm gonna read the subtitles on my favorite animes. Ooh. I'm gonna read the sext that I send to Spampton <laughs> to make sure it's good before I send it. Porf me up. <laughs> Porf me up, Captain. <laughs> Oh, I just forget. It's been a bit. Yeah. yeah, that's him. 
There we go. I still have trouble like differentiating Porf and Newsday Jacob. They're similar in many ways, but they're different where it counts. Yeah, exactly. Saying hi. Also, you are face blind. It's true. <laughs> apparently, apparently. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> uh, next Friday, I'm teaching a draw class. Woo! Of whatever business advice you want me to cover or professional career advice, things like organizing yourself, uh, time wise, <laughs> and. <laughs> Other things, uh, if you have any questions for me or you want me to cover anything, um, tweet it to me. And I'll try to include it. Yeah. I think that's it. I guess new episodes start Tuesday, next week. That's right. right. Yeah. As, of, as of live recording. So. Yeah. Normal droppy stream Missed Monday us. night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Unless we want to do Digimon Smasher Pass. It'll be normal or Digimon Smasher Pass. Well, Nathan won't be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nathan needs to so, be there. Nathan okay, needs to then, be there. then it'll be normal. It'll so be we normal. Have, he has to be there. We'll, yeah. we'll have a normal Drawfee stream and then Smasher Pass. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Olive. Yeah. That's good. That gives me time to add more. <laughs> Great. Version I want two. a whole presentation. It already is a whole presentation. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's already a whole presentation. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Alrighty. And also, uh, uh, remember if you want some anniversary merch. Yeah. It's not going to be available again once July is over. Sorry, VOD watchers. But um, mm. yeah, the, the only time to get it until eventually maybe we'll have like a clear out sale again. So. Yeah, pick it up. Pick it's it good. Up, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. That's it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.